Hello everyone and welcome back to Villainous. Uh, we're playing Prince John again. Uh, Prince John's win condition is start your turn with at least 20 power. We got the fate pile shuffled, we got the villain deck shuffled, we got 20 rounds to win, and uh, we got our fate die, a uh, 10 sided die, and we will be fated on a 1, 2, 3, or 4 for a 40% chance of being fated. Alright, let's uh, begin. So we start by drawing uh, four cards. And let's see what we got. So Greed, a condition card. During their turn, if another player has six or more power, you may play Greed, gain three power. And the way I play condition cards in solo mode is I have to meet the condition, and if I do, I can play the card as a free card uh, action. Uh, Sir Hiss, an ally, costs two to play. Let's see if it'll focus. Here we go. Uh, if Prince John is at Sir Hiss's location, you may perform one action that is covered by a hero at that location. All right. And beautiful, lovely taxes, costs zero to play, an effect card. Uh, gain one power for each hero in your realm. All right. And uh, Rhino Guards cost three to play. It's an ally with four strength, no additional ability. And that is it. So let's uh, see. So we'll start by going to the jail. We'll gain three power. And uh, let's see. We're going to just... Uh, We're just going to hold off and not do anything, because uh, the more we spend, the longer it takes to get to our win condition. So let's see if we get faded. A 10, we do not. Move down around 19. Uh, we don't draw any cards, because we already have four. Um, okay, so let's move to Friar Tuck's Church. Two power. Uh, and we'll still hold off and playing anything. Right? What's this uh, six or more power? Okay, so not quite there yet. Let's see if we get faded. A uh, six. So we do not get faded. Move down around 18. Don't draw anything. Uh, we'll go back to the jail and get three power. And because we meet the condition, uh, if uh, if you have six or more power, play greed, gain three more power. So let's see where we're at already. So one, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. So we have 11 power. We're more than halfway there. So, uh... Let's see, I guess that, that'll be it for that round. See if we get faded. Eight, we do not. Move down around 17, draw one card, get back up to four. Sheriff of Nottingham. Uh, it's an ally, costs three to play. Uh, three strength, at the start of your turn, you may move Sheriff of Nottingham. If there are any heroes at his new location, gain one power. I guess he's collecting taxes. Uh, so let's go here. We'll gain two power. And uh, we'll end that turn. See if we get faded. Five, we do not. Move down around 16. Uh, don't draw anything because we already have four. Uh, Going to move to the jail. Gain three power. So how many is four? So we have 16, we're almost there. Let's see if we get faded. Uh, one, we finally get faded. So uh, first one is King Richard, uh, five strength, Prince John cannot play effects. Or Friar Tuck, when Friar Tuck is played, discard all warrants from his location, Prince John does not gain any power from them. Uh, probably King Richard is, uh, more detrimental to us, and we'll put him here. Okay. Move down to round, uh, 15. We still have four cards. 
Okay. So now it comes the question, do we want to do anything? Uh, whoops. Oop, I just dropped that card. Okay. Um, so... Why don't we go, uh, you know, we'll just go uh, here. It will gain one power. And uh, we'll just end the turn. Well, you know, we'll spend this and we'll gain a power for having him in our realm. So there we go. All right, that's it for that round. Let's uh, see if we get faded. Oh, wait, that's an effect card. We can't play that, so. Bring that back. So let's see if we, uh, oops. Whoa, it keeps falling off the seven. We do not uh, move down around 14. Let's go here. We'll gain uh, three power. And you know, I think I gained two f from before. So let me get rid of that one. Okay. All right, uh, we'll end that turn there. See if we get faded. Seven again. We do not uh, move down around 13. We'll go here, get one. So now we have 15 uh, power. Oops. Or uh, not 15. We have 20 power. So we're at our win condition. And we're not going to play any cards, I don't think. Yeah, we're not going to play any cards. Um, what we could do. No, we can't do that either. Okay, so um, so as is tradition on this channel, when we are at the win condition and we only need one more turn to win, we forego rolling the fate die and we just automatically fate ourselves uh, to see if it will be prevented from winning. So all uh, Alan Adale, uh, hero with two strength, cost, uh, well he doesn't cost anything to play. All other heroes in Prince John's realm get plus one strength. Or, steal from the rich, take four power from Prince John and put it on any one hero. When that hero is defeated, John, uh, the power is returned to Prince John. Okay, so that will uh, prevent us from winning for now. So, uh, we take four power. Okay, and we'll just uh, take that off. We don't need that there. Okay, <clears throat> so now we move down around 12. Um, but you know what? I don't think we need to do anything about that. We'll just go here. We'll gain three power. And uh, we'll end that turn there. So uh, let's uh, see if we get faded. Uh, six, we do not. Move down around 11, go here, gain one. We are back at 20. Uh, so we're gonna forego rolling this. We're not gonna do anything on our turn. Let's just see what happens. Okay. So this would prevent us from winning. Again, it's the same card as last time. The other card would not have prevented us from winning. So we just take four again. And it says, uh, put it on any one hero. It doesn't matter if that hero already has power on it or not. So, okay. Uh, so let's move down around 10. Uh, we're not going to draw anything because we still have four cards. Uh, we'll move back to the jail. We'll get three more power. And uh, we'll see if we get faded. A7 we do not. Move down around nine, gonna go here, gonna get one power. That brings us back up to 20. Uh, so because we're at the win condition again and we're not gonna do anything on our turn, let's just see if we are prevented from winning. Okay, I don't think that would do it. <clears throat> so, um, Clever Disguise, an item attached to Clever Disguise to a hero. That hero cannot be defeated. 
At any time, Prince John may play, pay two power to discard Clever Disguise. That would not prevent us from winning. Uh, little John. When Little John is played, take four power from Prince John and put it on Little John. Uh, when Little John is defeated, the power is returned to Prince John. Okay. So we'll put that there. That's going to prevent us from winning. One, two, three, four. And we move down around eight. Uh, still have four cards. Going to just move back here. Uh, get three power. Uh, see if we get faded. Two, we get faded. So Robin Hood and Clever Disguise. I think we'll go with Robin Hood. Okay. So now we might want to start doing some stuff to get rid of these people. Um, so why don't we go... Why don't we go here? Hmm. And we'll spend uh, three power to put the Rhino Guard there. And uh, we'll end that turn. So uh, let's see if we get faded. Four, we get faded. Uh, Skippy, to strength, wolf archers cannot be used to defeat Skippy. Maid Marion, when Maid Marion is defeated, find Robin Hood and play him to the same location. So we already have Robin Hood out, so why don't we play Skippy, and why don't we play him where Robin Hood is? Actually, yeah, well, actually, why don't we play him uh, where uh, Prince John, or King Richard is? There. Okay. So we move down around seven. Let's go back to the jail. Let's get three power. And um, let's gain a card. Okay. We're going to discard both of these. And um, let's spend uh, two power. And put Mr. or Sir Hiss there. We'll end that turn. See if we get faded. Ten, we do not. Move down around six. Draw three cards. Get back up to four. What did we get? Okay. So, um, here. So we had that one. So, uh, bow, bow and arrows, uh, item card uh, costs one to play. Attach bow and arrows to an ally. That ally gets plus one strength. When that ally would be discarded, discard this item instead. Uh, imprison, uh, move a hero to the jail. Set a trap, you may move an ally to any location. Perform a vanquish action. Okay. So what we will do, I think we're going to use this card. Uh, we're going to move here. Uh, we'll spend one power on, to play the bow and arrows on the um, the rhino people. And we're going to do the vanquish action to use these guys to vanquish. Actually, we only need this one to vanquish uh, Prince John. So instead of discarding the rhino, we just discard that item. We get all this power back. Um, But I'm not sure if Robin Hood would make would reduce this, uh, so we're gonna say it does, just in case. Okay. So let's see what we have now. So let's just make sure this one looks a little small. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's five. That's five. That's five. And this one, one, two, th three, four, five. 
And then we have three extra. Okay. Okay, so we have 23. Uh, so let's see uh, if we win then. So we're going to end that turn there. We would have to anyways because we did both actions. So let's see if... Uh, so we're going to forego rolling the fate die because we are already at the win condition. Let's see if we would be prevented from winning. Nope, that would not... Oh, there, there it is. That one would prevent us from winning. So it's going to take three... Okay, so we're at 19 again. So, um, so let's move down around five. Draw one card. Cowardice during their turn. Here, uh, during their turn, if another player has three or more allies in their realm, you may play cowardice. Play an ally from your hand for free. Okay. So what I'll do is. I will go here. I'm going to move that over there. Um, and I'm going to do, uh, well, so I'm going to do his ability first. If Prince John is at uh, Sir Hiss's location, you may perform one action that is covered by a hero at that location. I'm going to perform the gain two, just to gain one, though, because Robin Hood is uh, reducing everything by one. And then I am going to, so I can still play a card, because all I did was move, and then I did his action. So now I'm going to play a card, uh, set a trap, cost one to play. You may move an ally to any location, perform a vanquish action. So I'm going to perform a vanquish action to use these two to defeat Robin Hood. So I will get, um, uh, just to be safe, I'm just going to get three instead of four, because I'm not sure if Robin Hood's ability reduces it when I get the stuff back. So I'm just being safe, just in case it does. And even if it counts when I defeat him and uh, Robin Hood himself, I don't know. So there we go. So that's all I can do for this turn, let's see how many we have now. One, two, three, four, five. So we have 22. So uh, let's see if... Uh, so we're again, we're going to automatically fade ourselves because we're at our win condition. Um, let's see if we get faded, or let's see if, uh, if something prevents us from winning. So that would not... So let's shuffle this to get the second card. Oops. Okay. What is the second card? Okay, so even if we play both of these, so uh, so when Toby is defeated, shovel him back into Prince John's Fate deck. Robin Hood, the amount of power that Prince John gains from each card or action is reduced by one power. So even if we play both of them, doesn't matter. They would not prevent us from winning because we would move down to round four. We would draw one card. Yep, doesn't matter what that card is because it is the start of our turn. And we have at least 20 power. We have 22, but we have at least 20 power. So there you have it. Uh, we won as Prince John. It got pretty close, though, because uh, towards the beginning of the game, I thought I was uh, almost about to win uh, in under 10 minutes because uh, we were just moving from there and there, there and there, getting like five power every other turn. And um, we were barely getting faded, but then right at towards the end of the game, we were getting faded constantly with the die and also with our traditional rule of, you know, getting faded before the win. So actually went uh, closer... Uh, to the uh, end of the game than I thought it would. Well, anyways, that is it for today. It is time to recite the litany of the meme. The night is dark and full of terrors, but I know that we will live long and prosper, for the force will be with us always against the forces of he who must not be named, as we remember to keep it secret, keep it safe, 
in the until the day we assemble in the name of Muadib. So say we all. <laughs>